Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how you can add comment or uncomment buttons in the Excel VBA editor toolbar. And so if you work with a VBA macro code, there are times when you're testing, you want to convert certain text into comments. Now you can always add a single code to convert a particular line into a comment. But if you have a whole block of lines, then it does get pretty tedious. And so we'll learn how you can add these comment and uncomment button. And we will also learn how you can actually assign a keyboard shortcut. So Alt C and Alt U to comment or uncomment a, a particular block. So it's, it's fairly simple, but it does require a few steps. And so just simply, if you have an Excel open, you can actually press Alt and F11 key to actually open the VBA macro editor. And from there on, we will learn how you can add these two buttons, okay? So in order to do that, you just simply customize this toolbar. So there's this whole toolbar actually, if, if I move this, you will see, see, there's a toolbar there. And you can customize this toolbar by this, uh, this down arrow. So if I click on that and click on add and remove button, there's an option to customize. Okay, so let's click on that. And it opens pretty much all the commands that you actually see uh, with this toolbar. And so the one that I'm showing is for commenting, but you can use the same technique for any other frequently used you know, command that you, that you have. And so the commenting and uncommenting is in actually edit command or edit uh, you know, uh, category. And so if you scroll down, you will see a comment block and uncomment block. Okay, so we want to add these two buttons somewhere here. So all you have to do is just select and just drag it. And then wherever you want, you just put it. So that's for commenting. And then this is for uncommenting. If you want to add a separator, I think there is some separator also if you want this line here. I think it will be somewhere here. But anyways, you can find those. Uh, okay. And so now we have these actually uh, two buttons. Now, as I mentioned, you can even assign uh, a keyboard shortcut. So it's pretty easy. You actually go, while this, this uh, customize uh, option is open, you actually right click on one of the buttons and it actually opens this further more settings. And what we are going to do is we are going to change the name uh, the name of this button is com comment block, right? And I'm going to add an ampersand. Or a, and so what it's going to do is it will actually add a, a underline to the C, uh, C text, okay? And so let me just click outside, okay? And then let's actually right click on it and then we will also have image and text just for 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 just temporary purpose so and then same thing here we'll right click on the uncomment and we'll press or we'll and add an and comma or and uh, alphabet right before that and then convert into image and text okay so we are done we are going to close this customize button and now you see there's a underline uh, under C and under U. So what it is, is uh, it's a mnemonic or something it's called. And so basically that is available if you press Alt and C. So for example, if I want to comment these three lines, all I have to do is Alt C and you can see it added this uh, single code right in front, right? If I want to uncomment it, it's Alt U. So if I press Alt and you, you can see it's converted back to the regular code. Now the same thing would work like basically using a mouse also. So I can actually go here and I can comment if I need to. And if I want to uncomment, I can do that. And so you can use it, use the mouse to comment or uncomment block, or you can use Alt C and Alt U to, to even speed up your work. So if I want to comment this entire thing, I can just simply press Alt C 
and you can see it's all converted into a commented part. So I hope you learned something new. This is just a one-time thing. Once you set it up, it should work for all the future uh, VBA macro editor. And so it's a pretty cool and simple tip uh, that can speed up your coding development. So if you like this video, please click on the subscribe button and please uh, like this video. Thank you very much.